And now to a developing story. History on the Korean Peninsula. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un crossed the heavily armed border to meet South Korea's president. The two signed a joint declaration setting some pretty lofty goals, including formally ending the Korean War with a peace treaty. CBS 4's Henna Doba reports. It was a border crossing 65 years in the making. On Friday morning, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un stepped over the line separating his country from South Korea. By doing so, he became the first North Korean ruler to set foot there since 1953. Kim was greeted by South Korean President Moon Jae-in. The two shook hands then went inside the so-called Peace House facility in the demilitarized zone to begin their day-long summit. When it was over, the two leaders emerged with a list of shared goals. They pledged to work towards denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula, a key issue for President Trump's upcoming meeting with Kim. However, neither side offered details on how that would be achieved. Many South Koreans are skeptical. This Seoul resident said he's worried because he suspects his country will be deceived by the North. A retired South Korean general expressed similar doubts about Kim's intentions. So I think we really need to uh, double check what he is saying. Does he really mean that he's going to give up all of this? Elsewhere in South Korea, a group of protesters gathered to denounce the summit. They said Pyongyang deserves a military intervention instead of diplomacy. Hanadoba, CBS News, New York.